In this video, I'm going to show you how you can manipulate the concordance output. Now what I mean by that is, I'm going to show you how you can use the expert options in the sketch engine to set specific parameters. This can be very useful if you're doing language research and you want to find out the most popular grammatical structures in a language, or if you're a teacher and you want to demonstrate how a particular grammatical structure is used in a context. So once you've picked your corpus and once you um, have selected concordance, you will see here at the bottom on the left the expert options. Um, expert options for context, which when clicked will show you this entry form, and expert options for text types, which when clicked will show you this entry form. So in this video, we're going to select the context expert options. So within the context section, you can make various specifications on the lemmas or on the POS filters. Here, POS means part of speech. In this entry form, you can also specify whether the lemma filter occurs on the left-hand side of the node word, or the query term, the right-hand side of the query term, or on both sides. And you can also state the window, or how many tokens you want the lemma to occur in. The same applies for the part of speech filter. So, let's say... For example, you want to search for the lemma shake. As a verb. But you want to search for the lemma shake followed by head as a noun. It's to find instances of she shook her head, if you agree shake your head, and shaking their heads in disbelief. So you can use this function to do that. To do this, you either type in shake to the query box and specify the part of speech as a verb. And you type head into the context box with the part of speech as a noun. And you want to see shake her head or shake his head or shake the head. And you want to see the noun head occur in a, a window of, let's say, two tokens to the right-hand side of the lemma. When you click Make Concordance, you will see this. Here we go. There are lots of instances of the phrase shook his head, shook her head. Alternatively, you can type in head in the query box as a noun and you can specify the lemma shake as a verb. And you can specify that you want this verb to occur two tokens to the left of the lemma head. Once you make concordance, you will see this. Here we go. We've got our node word or our keyword in context as we specified in the query form as head. And two tokens to the left, we've got the verb or the lemma, shake, which in this instance has been um, used in the past tense as shook and also in the present tense as shake. As you can see, um, using both, both methods to either specify head as a noun and shake occurring as a verb to the left, or specifying shake as a verb and the noun head to the right generates um, the same results.